my channel. My name is Keisha if you guys are new here. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a, another maintenance vlog. I like to do these like once a week, so I might as well film it for you guys because it's just a lot of good stuff to show you guys and I know you guys are interested in seeing pamper routines, skincare, masking, and all that good stuff. So I know I look a hot mess. I just got back from the gym. So I'm gonna start off with the shower and I will have my shower routine linked down below because that video will be out before this one gets out. So it's a new updated shower routine. If you guys are interested, I will have it linked down below but I'm going through everything that I'm doing in that video except putting the body oil at the very end because I am doing self tanning and a laser hair removal so it's been super cloudy here and I've been getting no sun so I definitely want to do a nice tan so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do and don't forget to subscribe for more content but let's just get started Alia Skin Australian Pink Clay Mask. So it looks like that. This one will detoxify and brighten the skin. I just need to do a little extra something to my skin because you know, I'm breaking out over here. <laughs> I love how the masks are having a hard time going on my pimples. masks on so we're gonna go ahead and start our laser hair removal I like to use the device on my bed so let's head over there so for my laser hair removal I'm using this one right here it's the premium IPL handset from Lux skin I think I've already talked about this many times but I noticed it a lot on my arms and my legs the difference but I'm still trying to work on my underarms and my bikini area yeah I just thought I'd let you guys know I'll be extra and make it a little bit of a vibe I'll just put this one on I'm going to do my nails and I'll set you guys up so you guys can watch So to start off my nails, I am just starting off with this cuticle pusher and I'm just pushing back my cuticles And then I'm gonna go in with a nail clipper and just trim down my nails and get them nice and short Then I'm gonna take these cuticle clippers and start trimming my cuticles just to get rid of any extra skin go in with a buffing block and I'm just smoothing out each nail so that the surface is nice and even and then I'm gonna quickly wash my hands to get rid of any dust so I'm gonna go in with the McCart six color translucent poly gel kit so just first starting off with the base coat by McCart and then curing that for 30 seconds and I'm using the color Lemon Chiffon. This is a translucent color, so I am gonna go in later with some gel polish colors and color my nail so it's like a nice solid color. And then I'm gonna go straight into molding my poly gel nails onto the dual forms. This takes some time, so I don't really know how to get too in depth with this because I'm still learning myself. So just working with the nail solution 
and the brush and just kind of like molding it into the shape that you want and then making sure to have enough poly gel on that nail. Then I'm gonna stick it on my nail. And then make sure to flip my hand over to get the other side nice and even. And then I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds, making sure to flip over to the other side for another 30 seconds. And then you should just be able to wiggle the dual form and it should just come off. I'm just gonna slightly file the nail just to get it in the shape that I want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same steps until I have all my poly gel nails on. Okay, so once all my nails are done, I'm just gonna go ahead and shape them now. This is where I'm gonna take my time. I do want to do like kind of a coffin square shape. I don't like it too squared and I don't like it too coffin shaped, so I just like an in-between. So I'm just gonna take my time and do that for each nail. Then I'm just using a nail drill and I'm just smoothing out around the cuticle area just to make it nice and even. So here's a little inspo pick of the nails I wanna do. I'm thinking of doing just a variety of fall colors. I'm not really sure what exact colors I wanna use, but I'm just gonna mix around a few colors from the colors I have and see what works together. And then these are the ones I chose. So I'm just picking out those colors. So for each nail, I'm gonna be doing a different color and I'm gonna start off with my thumb. This is the Amelie 107. And then I'm gonna use the Gelish Polish. This is the 176. And then for my middle finger, I'm using the number 17 from Gelish. And then I'm gonna go in with number six from Gelish. And then for my pinky, I'm using 174. 174 and 176 look very similar, but they are slightly different. I don't know if you guys are gonna notice in this video, but 174, my pinky, was just a little bit more turquoise. And I'm actually gonna go in with three coats of these polishes. So I'll be curing them for 60 seconds in between coats. be finishing off with the gelish polish top coat this is a no wipe top coat so once it's cured you do not have to you know wipe it off which I really like and then I'm just gonna go straight into filing my nail just perfecting the shape again these were super long and I loved how they looked I'm actually gonna go in with a drill as well just on the other side of the nail just to kind of smoothen the other side out just to make sure it's not bulging anywhere and then that's pretty much my nail I'm gonna go ahead and do the other hand now, those are my nails all finished. I love how they look. It just gave such fall vibes. I know you guys probably can't see with the lighting and everything, but they were definitely a little bit darker than they look. And then I'm gonna finish off with some cuticle oil by Essie, just to hydrate our cuticle area. And then that is our nails, you guys. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're moisturizing everywhere before you start your tan. So I'm gonna use the Nivea Body Milk Firming Body Lotion. I already moisturized after the shower, so I'm just honestly putting this on my wrists, my elbows, my knees. And for my lotion, I'm using the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey, and then their mint here. I also have these face drops as well, which I will use in my moisturizer for tonight. But for now, I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna start on my legs and then work my way up.
finished off with the St. Tropez Self Tan Purity Face Mist. Just in areas that get dry. I'm gonna head to bed now. I'm actually super tired. Hopefully I didn't mess up on my hands this time. I know last time I didn't really put too much thought into my hands and then they ended up getting really dark. So I'm gonna use the Drink Up Overnight Hydrating Mask by Origins. And I'm gonna mix in three drops of the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey Bronzing Face Drops. Okay, that is our skin all moisturized and I will check in with you guys tomorrow to see how the tan looks. So, see you guys tomorrow. I'm really happy because I don't think I messed up my hands for the first time. I can feel like these pimples are ready to go, but I'm gonna take a hot shower. Hopefully that warms them up a little bit and then I might put on these patches again. And then I'm gonna quickly do my makeup and hair and finish this video. So it's nice and bright. So it's a little bit of different lighting. Um, let me see if I can put this on. Yeah, this is the ring light from last night. I did get nice and tan and I didn't mess up my hands this time. My stomach. You can definitely tell my legs are nice and tan and I didn't really mess up. I'm gonna try out this Olaplex number no. six bond smoother. This one is said to strengthen, nourish, and moisturize the hair. It speeds up the blow drying time while smoothing and reduces frizz and flyaways for up to 72 hours. Let me just take my hair out real quick. Okay, I don't know how much I should take. So it says mid length to end, so. Okay, I'm using my blow dryer here. Well, my blow brush. I'm starting with my eyebrows. Just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Soft Brown. Just taking the Benefit Brow Setter. Am I not three? No. <gasps> okay, I'm on my way. I'm gonna leave right now. Okay. Okay, bye. So as you guys saw earlier, I was doing my makeup and then I actually messed up my schedule and I thought I started work at 3 p.m. But I started at 11 a.m. So I had to go to work. I'm gonna go in now with some foundation. So for foundation, I'm using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless 310. I just realized I probably should have done my eyes first. So I'm gonna quickly do my eyes before I do my concealer. I think I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette. This one is in Nude Mood, so it looks like this. It's very neutral, it's an everyday makeup palette for me. If you guys want like a tutorial, then I can do one for you, but I feel like no one really is interested in like an in-depth tutorial on how I do my makeup. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Light Beige, just to clean up the eyebrows. my lashes and I'm using the big mood mascara by elf I'm gonna put on these lashes here these are the I believe they're the number ones by kiss For 
concealer, I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is in light beige. Using a beauty blender, I'm just blending it all out. Just taking the Fair Light Fit Me and setting the under eyes. Taking the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit before I wipe everything off. I just put some setting powder under to just give it a little contour. And I'm going in now with the C40 Oat Studio Fix Powder. It's just like a face powder. I'm just gonna put that all over my face just to set around the whole area. This is just gonna add extra coverage. So for blush, I'm using the e.l.f. Always Cheeky. No, this is e.l.f. Always Punchy. going back to the under eyes and whatever's left on this brush that we were using at the top I'm just going to rub it here at the bottom for my lips I'm using the cork lip liner so I just outlined my lips and I'm going in with the stay matte lip color by Rimmel London in moi I'm taking the smoked peach and then just adding that because I need a little bit of like corally color. I feel like it was a little too gray for me. Now I'm taking the highlighter by e.l.f. This is the 24 karat gold. So before I put bottom mascara on, I'm going to set my face with the Continuous Setting Mist by Morphe. Now I'm just taking the Big Mood Mascara again and I'm just going on my bottom lashes. Okay, I'm all finished my makeup, but I feel like the lighting is a little bit too bright over here. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna go in my bathroom and quickly change and show you guys the ending results. So I just changed, but I kind of want to add some volume in my hair. This is by the brand Mark Anthony. It's the Dream Big Volume. I haven't actually used this one before, but I really wanted to try it out. I found it at the dollar store, to be honest, and I really like Mark Anthony products, so I'm gonna give it a try. It's like a powder. So I'm gonna finish off with my favorite moisturizer. This is the Nivea Firming Lotion. I would be putting on my body oil with it as a favorite combo, but since I have a self-tan on right now, I can't actually put on the oil because it'll you know, strip down the self-tan. That's pretty much our little makeover glow up. These pants are from Pretty Little Thing. They're just these very baggy trousers. I don't know if you guys can see. And then I just have on this black bodysuit. It's from Sirens, but it has like a little V cut and then it's like a bodysuit. So I just wear the trousers over it. And as you can see, it has a nice cow neckline. I think that's what they're called, cow neckline. I could be wrong. And then these jewelry pieces are just from Shein. So yeah, you guys, that is my little glow up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you do want to see any more videos from me, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.